Welcome to The Tomorrow Show. I'm Mo Rocca. Remember when time-wasting was dull? Today, thanks to social media and 65,000 iPhone apps, you can friend your boss on Facebook, then get into a flame war while playing the leaf trombone and Twittering with your 4,000 closest BFFFs. Translation below. So what's the future of time-wasting? If you've got nothing better to do, watch this. This is the machinery of revolution, a revolution that will amplify the already incredible power of the human mind. In 1967, Walter Cronkite marveled at all the computer would do for mankind. Soon it will transform an age, and the future will become the computer age, for life in the 21st century will be unthinkable without the computer. One thing Cronkite didn't foretell? The computer's awesome potential for time wasting. Anyway, uh. You can thank or blame the internet. No, I don't have no parachute pants, man. We really have some business right now. You, I, actually, strangely enough, I'm wearing parachute pants. You just can't see. Multi-platinum recording artist MC Hammer, famous for his music, smooth moves, and parachute pants, has refashioned himself as a social media maven. Stop. Hammer time! Now, if you create the music, or you create the movie, or you create the song, or you write the poem, when it's time to say, here's what I've created, how do you feel about it? It's just a click away. Hammers on Facebook, Ustream, and most of all, Twitter. These are people that I'm following. Look what's going on. The connotation of social media, maybe unfairly, is that this is just a method for chit-chatting, for frittering away time. Right. One that holds that perspective will find himself, if he's a professional and he's in the media business, the unemployment line grows closer. But where Hammer sees potential, employers see waste. A recent survey found that companies that allow access to the social networking site Facebook lose an average of 1.5% in total employee productivity. Some employees use the site two hours a day. And it's not just Facebook. 10 hours of YouTube video are added every single minute. So how does the average office worker waste time? No better place to find out than the CBS News Broadcast Center. What were you doing on your Facebook page that you could rationally call work? Um, Self-promotion. So, you know, it's funny when you look at the history, how much social wait media... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Susan Boyle makeover photos. Yes, I couldn't resist. She does look great, though. She does. I mean, I barely recognized her. Is this more... Time-wasting Twitter or work Twitter? I would say this is probably time-wasting Twitter. I'm killing a few minutes. An IT guy is going to know best how to cover a time waste. So, let's say you're wasting time. It, there you go. Or was it one button? Two. But is this time-wasting or a way of expressing oneself? Today, everyone gets their own channel, their own news feed, their own 15 megabytes of fame. And P.S. YouTube is way better than MySpace. The flip side? This constantly expanding social cyberspace is being polluted with cyber junk. Gossip masquerading as news. The really cool thing about the web is anyone can write whatever they like and put it up there. And the bad thing about the web is they have. Rob Ennels, who works for Intel, the sponsor of The Tomorrow Show, is designing a new time waste management tool. Dispute Finder will highlight questionable claims and refer you to counterposing arguments. It's highlighting this particular paragraph here because that is making the claim that the Iranian election was rigged. And there is evidence from a trustworthy source arguing the other side. And it's Ahmadinejad's website. In this case, actually, Washington Post. Okay. All right. It's possible okay. that the Washington Post is now controlled by Aquaman Jet, <laughs> but we think it probably isn't. <laughs> and the really cool thing we want to do, slightly longer term, is a device you put in your pocket, listens to everything you hear, and buzzes when you hear something that's disputed. What can't be disputed 
Time wasting in the computer age can be amazingly creative. I think uh, some of the most productive moments are when I'm not doing anything at all. When I'm just thinking, letting my mind recollect, and I'm also using this quote-unquote waste of time to, to not only to think but also to kind of communicate. Go Wong is the man behind two of the iPhone's hottest apps, the ocarina, a simulation of an ancient woodwind instrument, and the leaf trombone. If somebody says to you, using your iPhone to play the leaf trombone is a waste of time, you say? I say that it, he's probably, he or she's probably right. Um, I think like pretty much any instrument, it's kind of what you make of it, and we hope people are, you know, liking it and getting a lot out of it. One man's waste of time is another man's recording <laughs> contract. Indeed. I tried my hand at tickling the iPhone, and it was harder than I expected. But soon, you won't need your hands to while away the hours. Already in development? Telekinesis. And it's not just for jilted prom dates like Carrie anymore. Coming in October, Mindflex, a game that uses your brain waves to manipulate a ball through an obstacle course. Come on, stay up, stay up. I guess not all oh, alpha up, waves are created equal. Ball, ball, ball. And in December, you may be able to get your hands on this controller. Made by Emotive, it could banish the mouse from your desktop forever. So is time wasting really a waste of time? Or a way of broadcasting your actions, your feelings, and well, you to the world with a click, a tweet, and soon, a thought. Joining me now in the Tomorrow Show's Flash studio is Bill Wasek. He's the author of And Then There's This, How Stories Live and Die in Viral Culture. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, first off, uh, my bosses really want this to go viral. How can okay. we make that happen, this conversation? Well, you know, um, cute uh, animals are always a big uh, plus. Uh, pornography would help. Um, cute babies are, are good. Um, you know, put the three together and, and it's surefire, I think. And it's surefire. Okay, we'll add all that stuff in post. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about time wasting. Where is all of this time wasting leading us? Well, I think on some level we're all becoming, uh, you know, a little like MC Hammer today, you know, where uh, we're uh, using the Internet um, and on some level we're wasting time. But on another level, we're putting ourselves out there, building our own personal brand, uh, you know, getting our little chunk of fame. Do you think sometime soon typical office workers will experience total time wastage? Well, you know, I think on some level uh, the, it, we're headed in that direction in that time wasting and work are beginning to merge. Um, you know, the irony about all these productivity uh, losses is that, you know, technology has made our work more productive. So on some level, instead of working, you know, the four days a week, which is what we could do with our with our productivity gains, we're essentially taking that extra time in time wasting at work. You know, so instead of going home and spending time with our friends and family, instead, you know, we're essentially working those extra hours at our desks. Isn't that a little bit sad? It is a little bit sad, but it is fun to waste time at your desk. Why do you think we're doing this? Are, are we just bored? Well, yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, it's a it's a it's almost like an arms race. It's escalating that that we're, we're getting more and more stimulation from the world, more and more distractions. Um, and that in turn increases our expectations about how exciting the world is going to be. You know, it's, it's at this point, if, you know, your favorite blog refreshes, uh, you know, post 10 times a day instead of, uh, you know, 15 times a day, you feel like you've really gotten ripped off. Um, and I think that, that that's happening on every level. You know, we want more news. We want more entertainment. We want more distractions, more diversions because we're getting so much of it. And yet we're not satisfied. And so what do we need? Well, we must need more. So it's a vicious cycle. We're wasting time because we're bored and all this time wasting is making us more bored more easily. Exactly, it's, cre it's creating the illusion that we're more bored. Well, I have to say, I, I started on Twitter about a month ago, 
and I'm already kind of bored with it. <laughs> well, that's exactly it. You've fallen right into their trap. The only thing that's keeping me on there is I'm following North Korea and Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and they're both, it's kind of interesting. It's yeah, like, they're together, right? Um, well, I, you know, my feeling about Twitter is that on some level, it's the ultimate endpoint of all of this. You know, it's the communications have been shrunk down to the shortest possible length. Uh, and uh, the only way that you can really attract a following on Twitter is to post very, very often, you know, and that's essentially where the internet sends all of our communications. You know, everything has to be so fast um, and you have to create a lot of it. And that's that's where uh, the incentive is today. Any upside to this, do you see? Well, you know, I think that, um, you know, the younger generation, as they learn to Twitter and multitask in, in terrifying ways, um, you know, I think that they're probably going to learn how to do, you know, 25 things at once better than, than we oldsters are able to. And, 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 you know, they'll they'll take all of our jobs because, you know, they're able to do what's expected of them, which is to, you know, text while they're emailing, while they're, you know, filming a YouTube. Um, while they're driving. A jet ski, right. <laughs> um, but I mean, for... Uh, for the rest of us, I think uh, it's just fraying us at the edges. And I think that we need to find spaces in our lives to, to turn off. Well, thank you for joining me, Bill. Thanks for having me. Okay. And to waste more time, go to cbsnews.com slash tomorrow show. I'm Mo Rocca. And until next time, don't stop thinking about the tomorrow show. I think that this thing really could go viral. Next time on the tomorrow show, the color the combos, the kick. The chili hit me like a ton of bricks. Yeah, it was but, like that. You know, get set yeah, for the high. sugar high that is the future of candy.